Hello, hi, well, good morning. Uh, and what we're going to do, uh, I've first clearly introduced myself. I'm John Godber, uh, and I'm uh, the writer of April in Paris and 50 odd other plays and screenplays and films and so on. Uh, and I'm acting in this production, and also uh, I've written it. And, uh, and you are? Jane Godber, Thornton. <laughs> Um, and I'm acting in it with John, just the two of us. Yeah. And yeah. I'm a writer and director and you say it work. <laughs> and you are? Uh, Neil Sissons. And uh, I've come along to help out with the direction on April in Paris. And uh, I'm a director and I do a bit of writing. That's who I am. OK. So we're going to have this discussion. And, 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 and clearly, you know, we, uh, if you feel um, any burning desire to ask us, specific things about this production or uh, about acting in general, about theatre, about whole truck, about how we've got you know, to this brand new building, uh, or indeed any of the plays that you, you, you may be studying at GCSE that uh, I might have a, a knowledge of, feel free to ask us. Uh, so there we go. Who's going to ask us the first question? Um. What's it like working with your husband and wife yeah. in this, in this <laughs> play? What's it like? Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's fine. We're, we're, um, we're enjoying it. And, and we have worked together in, in lots of different ways. You know, John's directed my plays and we've written together. And uh, we just haven't ha happened to act together for a long time. And uh, we're enjoying it. I think we're enjoying it because as well, the, the play is very relevant still. Um, it was written 18 years ago, but it's still very relevant today. But we're older, and so the way we're looking at it is slightly different. And so it's more poignant now, and it, it means something different because of our age. So it's a different challenge. So it's not just us going back on and just doing what we did before. Um, it's, um, it's, it's looking at it in a different way, and it's, it's good that Neil's here to help us, mm. us do that and challenge us. Because we, we do get a bit giggly sometimes and start... Laughing and I'm a bad influence. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm an awful. Well, I had to bring Neil in to, to basically control us because <laughs> uh, I, I get carried away with my own uh, comedy and my own ideas. And, uh, and I'm also, what I tend to do when I'm rehearsing with, with actors is, is I tell them stories a lot. So we'll, we'll work for 20 minutes and I'll tell a story possibly about when we went to Breton and we all got drunk and we stood on a load of ice and we nearly died because we went through the ice because <laughs> we were that drunk, we were jumping on the ice until it cracked and then we ran off, you know. But unfortunately Jane knows all these stories, <laughs> so I've got nobody to tell any of these stories to. Uh, Which is where I, I come tell in. Him. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of coffee. <laughs> Yeah, Edward yeah. de Bono said we've got very short attention spans uh, of about 40 minutes. And this is interesting in terms of education, that, you know, we have short attention spans and yet our, our lessons are, what, uh, uh, you know, sometimes 50 minutes, sometimes 70 minutes, you know, and yet great educational psychologists realise our attention spans are only short. Um, so what I tend to do when I'm rehearsing, it's very intense for nearly six minutes. And then we'll go and have a, a chat that. and a, a coffee and then we come back and do another intense then you, you you go back it's not it doesn't mean six minutes it's no, a bit longer than that half an hour <laughs> half an hour but yeah but it's good fun yeah we're enjoying it all right john out of uh, all the places you could have set uh, april in paris why did you choose paris out of everyone oh uh, uh, yeah because well april in paris is a, is a title of a song and it was my, one of my mum's favorite songs uh, April in Prague, it's not got the same kind of ring to it. But it was also your experience, wasn't it, yeah, yeah, yeah. To, be, to be fair? It was yeah. the first place you went. What to happened is, I'd, I'd never been abroad. I'd only been to Blackpool for the first 19 years of my life. And then uh, when my grand died, we started to go to Whitley Bay. So we went up on, to, on the East Coast. So when I came to Hull in 1984, I had never been out of the country. And... Uh, Jane said, well, we should go to Paris, because I speak French. And she took me to Paris. And I said, I don't want to go to Paris. I'm not interested in it. I'm not in the frogs. I'm not interested in the language. I'm not interested in the culture. There's part of, there's part of, the, parts of this world I haven't seen. You know, I've not been to Redka. You know, I've, not, <laughs> I've not been to Gateshead. You know, there, there, are, there are parts of Carlisle that I know nothing about. You know, so Jane said, Jane said let's go to Paris. And suddenly... I'm confronted with a place where I kind of go, oh, 
<clears throat> oh, right. I get it. I get the architecture, I get the art, I get the sophistication. Didn't get the language at that time. I get the space, I get the imagination, I get the whole, you know, visceral breaking down of my imagination. Well, the whole world just got bigger as well, didn't massive, it? Massive. You know, the potential. Massive. And, and, and bizarrely, when this show was on the West End, somebody wrote, We enjoyed the play, but everybody's been to Paris. Oh, what were we chatting to yesterday? Who said, a, a journalist from the whole Daily Mail said, actually, I've never been to Paris and I'm 42. I said, result, mm. fantastic. I tell you how many people here have been to Paris? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven. Get yourselves to Paris. <laughs> My next door neighbour in Sheffield went out of the country and he's, uh, he, what, he's Tony 60. So his wife's similar age. They went out at country last year to America, first time they'd ever been abroad. My, mm. my aunt and uncle have never been abroad and won't even come to Hull. It's too far to visit us. Yeah. So I don't think they've even been to Leeds and they live near Skipton. Yeah. That's it. We, we did a show uh, with, the, with, with some kids in schools in Hull that we took to Edinburgh and one of the guys had only ever been to Brid. He'd only ever been to Brid. And then suddenly went to Edinburgh and went, Whoa, hang on! <laughs> hang on! Whoa, stop it! <laughs> stop this! I didn't realise this existed. You know. That's what effect a kilt has on you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and shortbread. <laughs> <laughs> and haggies. Uh, but that's why we chose Paris, because it's such a... Uh, it, it's vivacious and it's, it's full of imagination. Um, and you could say that you know, about, about Verona and about Venice and about Prague, but there's something romantic about Paris as well and about the kind of Parisian feel. And also, we, at the time, we, we, um, we worked out that if they were going from Hull, they'd probably go on North Sea ferries yeah. and, well, what was North Sea ferries then? P&O ferries now. Yeah. Um, and um, it's accessible from Hull. It's a place they could potentially go for, for one night. It could have been Bruges, I suppose. Yeah. But it's Bruges? Is anybody into Bruges? Yeah. <coughs> Bruges, one. Get yourselves to Bruges. <laughs> Get yourself to Ghent. You know, fantastic. Um, what what stopped you from performing over the past eighteen years together? What what stopped us performing together? Um, well, having, having children. Having children. We've got children. Does it uh, take up our time? Uh, and the commitment to them. Uh, my I, I, my mother was ill for a long time, and I was looking after my mum. Um, and also, I didn't want to be one of those. I've turned down lots of opportunities to be in films. I don't know if you're aware. Uh, I was up for the film that became very, very famous, uh, The Full Monty. And uh, I turned that down because, I, you know, I became known as a writer and I didn't suddenly want to have my bottom on cinemoid <laughs> for the rest of eternity uh, all, over the, all over the planet. So I turned that down uh, and, 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 and suggested Mark Addy for that part. And the rest is, the rest is history. Ironically, I got offered another film after that to be in. And it's weird, because I've always wanted to be an actor. And I always wanted to be, you know, be a footballer. Um, and I ended up playing rugby and being a playwright. Uh, so, the, the, I, enjoy, I, I enjoy what we're doing on stage. I don't know whether or not I'd feel comfortable acting on film. But the reason, the reason we've not done it is because um, I didn't think it looked right either. Mm. You know, the John Godber runs old truck and he's written a play, and he's in it again. <laughs> oh dear. You know, and in the 25 years I've been here, we've only been in two plays. So I don't think we've been hogging the limelight so much. And how many plays have you been in? Are you three at Old Truck? Hey, Old Truck? No, I'm on about 10. 10, have you? Well, Up and Under. Yeah, Except Jane was in the original, original Up and Under. September in the Rain we did when we first came here. Blood, Sweat and Tears when she learned families. judo. Happy Families we didn't do here. Um, you know, it's not been on. The, it's not really been on the. Uh, there have been more important things, really, which has been you know, securing this building, mm -hmm. as well.